Well, today they broke ground on the $571 million community justice campus on the city's southeast side. And Drone Cam 13 flew over the property that used to be the Citizens Energy Coke plant. This new center will house a 3,000 bed jail. There will be a new courthouse here, a new sheriff's office, and also a treatment center. It is ex expected to open in 2021. Our Mary Mills explains why some people living nearby have become big supporters of this project. Are you going to finish cutting? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Brenda McAtee runs a free summer camp for kids whose parents work. She also provides free meals. Your stomach hurt? Did you eat too much? She spent much of her life working to make her neighborhood a better place. She's been a big advocate of the Community Justice Campus, speaking at the groundbreaking. We are proud to be a part of this today festivities and are eager to see this investment. <laughs> we joined McAtee and two other longtime residents after the ceremony, who stressed the project wasn't a shoe in the neighborhood approved it by one vote Did not one vote when we put that criminal law in it you know people were like oh a jail you know i'm like no it's not just a jail i sure have changed my mind but the negative comparing the negative to the positive the positive kind of wins out a large part of that the assessment and intervention center aimed at helping those with mental illness and addictions Issues that have challenged this neighborhood and so many others. It's so many people don't belong in jail. You know, they just need a chance. Well, you see the need and we need the supply. The women are also glad to see the large site fenced off for more than a decade put back in use. Business around it will develop. Lots of jobs. It's going to be a beautiful thing. I mean, you know, for everybody, the whole win-win. And when she says beautiful, she also means the buildings. You saw the images. She really likes the design, the layout, and also the fact that the campus itself will be set back, not right up against the street. And another thing, John and Ann, she says the community center will have some rooms for residents of the community to use as well. All right. Thank you, Mary Mills, on the southeast side tonight.